Hi everybody, welcome to another thrift with me. Um, I have to do a voiceover because this store has some music blasting. This is a Halston beautiful sweater, 100% cashmere and 100% full of moth holes. <laughs> I had to leave that behind. This brand, Coochie Coo, I came across a couple of these. The tag was $110, new with tag, but I did not find any impressive comp, so I left that behind. This is a Madewell cardigan sweater in a size large. I'm a sucker for Madewell and I love this color and the fact that it was a cardigan, I picked that that up um, later in this video when more moth holes on that Brooks Brothers sweater oh gosh wait let me talk about this first this Burberry Brit sweater absolutely broke my heart I agonized over it there were just too many flaws you can see how pilly it is I was still gonna get it and then I saw this tear on the zipper and then I thought let me zip it up see what it looks like still looks terrible and then I held it up and looked at it as a whole and it was so shrunk and oh, the old version of me would have grabbed this but I had to leave it behind broke my heart but I left it behind see how shrunk it is when I put it next to the other sweater I was proud of myself for doing that this is a brand that makes beautiful Irish knit sweaters but Again, this is about four sizes smaller than it should be, it was definitely put through the dryer. What I started to say earlier is that in this video, stay tuned till the haul because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run comps on all of the things that I pick up and I'm going to get a real estimate of what I should make on this haul uh, using real comps. Okay, moving on, this Wilford Free sweatshirt is to die for, in my opinion. I love it, I know it's super plain. This is an Aritzia brand, and I plan on keeping this for myself, but the comps on that were crazy, should I want to sell it. This is a Smart Will jacket. Um, you can see that it's pretty pilly. Smart Wool is a brand that I rarely pass on, and I thought this was a really unique piece because it was kind of like a windbreaker and uh, wool combo. It does need some sweater shaving, but I decide to grab it. Uh, later, I see that it has a moth hole or two or three on the arm, but I get a good deal on it. This is a Lululemon sports bra that I actually already sold. These are some Lululemon leggings. This is a good example of what I do not go near anymore. Old Lululemon leggings uh, are magnets for lint, so I left that behind. This I thought was pretty cool. It's a Joe Cool made in Japan Snoopy little figurine. It shows somewhere, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's move on to the next store. So this shop is super tight, so I don't get a lot of footage in here. I think their shoes are $7.99. Uh, these were some Bowdoin espadrilles, and I largely stopped buying espadrille wedges because the comps tend to be low for me. So I was tempted by those, but I'm glad I ran the comps on that. This I knew I wasn't gonna buy just because it was big and bulky, but I figured I'd run the comps. It looks like someone accepted uh, an offer with $99 as the price. Um, they wanted $40. This is a sale rack for $1.99. I don't show you any of the items I found here, but I found like eight items that were just $1.99, some with incredible comps. This was a loft dress that I think I want for myself. So I picked this up for myself and then realized it was new with tag. So even if it doesn't work for me, hopefully I can sell it. This is an Eileen Fisher jacket and this beautiful Ranagill blouse. Uh, that's a wrap for this store. I got a lot more than this, but let's go see what I found. Hi everybody, welcome back to another haul video. I was very excited that I had the chance to go thrifting closer to Boston. It's been a while since I had been to this particular thrift store. Um, I actually went to two on this day. They're both in the same town. I had just come off of doing a big estate haul with a lot of Talbots and Chico's. And so I was kind of itching to get out there and find some fun brands that excite me, that spark a little joy. Um, that haul was fantastic. I got seven bags of clothing for just a hundred dollars in an estate sale buyout but it's always fun when I can take my time and handpick the things that excite me what I'd like to do in today's video is show comps for every item that I put up I don't know if I'll be able to find exact comps but we're gonna go a little bit on the conservative side and we're gonna try to find sold comps on all of the items that I'm sharing with you today I believe I spent $81 at the first stop 
and over 100 at the second stop. And then we're gonna see what I have potential to make. It's always fun to see what the comps are on things. Uh, this particular item that I'm wearing, I will run comps for this, but I'm keeping this. This is the Wilford Free Aritzia sweatshirt that I found, and I love it. It's like a, it's almost like a bone color. I'm so excited about it. I love to wear hoodies and sweatshirts, but sometimes, you know, I just don't need one more like college sweatshirt, big bold letters. So this is just low key. It's a size two, which I'm not sure uh, what that brand, what, what that size would be in Aritzia. I'm guessing large or extra large because it fits really well, but I paid $8 for this. So you saw some of the stuff in the thrift with me video. The second store was really hard to get footage because it's so packed there. I ended up putting some stuff back because I was running a couple comps while I was in store. I bought these on cloud sneakers and I think they are so sharp looking. They're size nine and a half women's. I've already gotten a couple DMs about them. Um, they are in great condition. If you look at the toe, if you look at the traction, the only place that I saw wear was back here in the heel right here and right here. So like kind of where like your sock or ankle would rub up against the sneaker. But I haven't touched these yet and they are so sharp. I love these. I've seen these listed for $100 on eBay. I saw a couple listings in like the $60, $70 range on Poshmark, but we'll see what they're selling for. So at this particular store, they've really gone up in pricing and I still haven't adjusted to it. Every time I go there, I think of the old prices. Shoes used to be $5, shoes and boots. Now shoes are $8 and boots are $10. So their boots have doubled in price and gone up over 50% in shoes. It's a totally different shopping experience there now. I really miss the way things used to be, but it is what it is. It makes me more selective, which I don't think is a terrible thing. This was in the sports bra section. It is Lululemon and it's a 34 double D, I believe. And they have a new system at this store. It's just a 34 D. If there's an additional tag on it, uh, yellow, a yellow tag is an additional $2 and a red little tag was an additional dollar. So sports bras were $5. So I thought this was going to be seven. I was still willing to pay for it uh, because I thought this was really nice. It is Lululemon. I don't know if this is a Tata -ta tamer. I have to look it up, but it's this really pretty soft blush. And when I can find a nice sports bra in a larger bust size, I'm pretty excited about it, especially Lululemon. It has the, um, the hook and eyes in the back, so it doesn't like pull over. I hate the sports bras that have to pull over my head. So this is really nice. It crisscrosses in the back and it's adjustable. But when I got to the register, she just charged me for a regular bra, which was $4. So that was a bonus. So $8 for the shoes, $4 for the bra. This I picked up for my mom. So, I mean, I guess we could run comps on it, but I am gonna give this to my mom. She's having her knee surgery done in an upcoming week and she needed a light robe, a, a short light robe. And this is a nice soft cotton. The brand is Anne Klein. Probably would not have picked this up for resale, but it's really nice. And robes were just $5. So I got that for mom for her surgery. Um, I did not run comps on this, but I loved it. And I feel like I've sold this sweater before. I know I have a similar Free People sweater, same color, same eyelash fabric, but this is made well. It's a size large. Mainly, I was excited about this because it's a cardigan sweater. It's a little out of season, but cardigans just do well. They're very versatile. People can wear them open, they can wear them buttoned, they can size up, they can wear them fitted. Cardigans are such versatile pieces. I love getting them. I did not look at the date on this. It's fall of 2020, so this is going to be a really pretty fall piece in a size large. Sweaters are now $8. Eight or seven. I think $8 for sweaters. They used to be $5. This was $6. I think they charged me six for this, which was, they considered it sweats, but then it said hoodies on the board were seven or eight dollars. So their prices have really skyrocketed. They're still not outrageous in the big picture, but they just used to be such great prices. And all of these items are donated. So I'm always bummed when they go up in price. These I picked up at the register. I paid $12 for these. They are We The Free New With Tag Cutoff Shorts. So just free people. I grabbed them because they were a size 32. So a larger size cutoff shorts. $60 price tag. I'm hoping to get 40. It's not going to be a huge profit margin on these, um, but I thought they were really cute. 
it was a little bit of an impulse purchase because I was at the register. Um, but 12 bucks, they're a button fly. I think they'll go. I don't know what I was talking about. I spent $48.99. I don't know where I was getting the 80. I got eight items for $48. This item I was so excited about and I grabbed it right away. You saw it in the thrift with me, but then I knew I just, I didn't want to burst my bubble right away. But before I checked out, I had to go through things really carefully. And that's when I discovered the hole. From what I saw, the hole was just on the arm and it's definitely repairable. And I also asked about it because jackets are $7.99 or $9.99. This was in the sweatshirt section. So I wasn't sure what she was gonna charge me for it. So I pointed out the holes to her. There's two on the arm here. When I pointed them out to her at the register, she's like, I can do $4. So $4 for a smart wool jacket. I was like, yes, smart wool is one of my favorite brands to find. There's a little guy that you look for. I noticed the little kind of rainbow stripe here and I was like, yes, that's smart wool. So it's really cute. It's a full zip, like nylon with the lightweight wool. I'm thinking 40 or $50 for that, even with the hole, which I will repair and I will disclose. And the last thing that I got from there was just a little, let's see how this does. This is a little Snoopy. It says Joe Cool. The reason I picked it up is because it looked cool to me and it was made in Japan. And things that are made in Japan can sometimes do well. There were some Snoopy figurines, vintage, made in Japan that sold upwards of $50. There were a lot that sold in the $25 to $35 range. But the issue with this is that some of the paint on his shirt has come off. If you know anything about these little figurines, let me know. So this was $2.99, won't take up a lot of space, easy to photograph, let's give it a try. Every time I can learn a little bit about something outside of my comfort zone, I like to do it if it's not too risky. All right, so that's it for the first stop, $48.99. Um, I was pretty happy with the things that I got, Smart Wool, On Cloud, Lululemon, Madewell, Free People, in a vintage Snoopy and Wilford Free. I love this too so much. I got more stuff at the second store because the second shop has a rack where things are just $1.99. Typically, I don't always find the best things on that rack, but I found all those scotch and soda pieces and I found a pair of leggings that I was really excited about and they were all $1.99. Okay, I'm losing my mind. Okay, I spent $81.87 at the second shop and I spent $48.99. So I totaled a little over $130. I think that's where I was getting the number. I am just telling fibs today. So yes, $81.87 at the second stop. I got 13 items and I think I got nine items at the first stop for $48.99. So here are my two receipts. Okay, first up, I spent $20 on this piece, but I looked it up really quickly because it was such a standout statement piece. And it was a larger size, this peasant blouse made in India. The brand is Verb. And this is a brand that is sold at Anthropology. It's all lined. Look at the metallic pattern and these little tassels in the front are so pretty and all this detail here. Some of the comps on these are really impressive. Um, this is an extra large, which I really think is wonderful. It really runs big. I put it on and I have it. I have a lot of room. I would say even if you're a 2X, this would fit, but it's pleated and it's beautiful. Some people have it listed new with tag for $130. I think I'm gonna price it around $89 uh, because it's an extra large. I think it's going to do pretty well, but I paid 20 for it. I paid $19.99. They have this rack right when you walk in with all higher priced items. And for the most part, they aren't always worth it. This same particular store on that same rack about a year ago, I picked up a Canada Goose jacket and I paid $200 or $250 for it and eventually sold for $600. So I do find some really cool brands here. We're closer to Boston. So I, I did grab this $20 
I'm hoping for $60 to $70 return on that. This is a brand that I don't always pick up, but it was new with Tag and it was a size 14 and I just really liked it. The brand is Sigrid Olsen and the price tag on this was $99. And this was just like a regular priced item. So this, I think blouses were $6.49 or $7.99 or something like that. I think $7. I just thought this was pretty. This is a style that I would wear with just a little black tank underneath. You'll, you'll definitely need a camisole because it's pretty sheer. But I thought the pattern was really beautiful and new with tag. So maybe I'll list it at $59 and maybe it will sell between 38 and 45 I'm guessing. I still have to look up comps. Um, I will keep all of my $1.99 items to show you um, at the end. I'm hoping this looks good on me because it's really nice. It's the loft. It's a size large. And I looked at it and I thought, that's kind of a nice, easy style for summer. It's just got a little lace on the shoulders here and lace in the back, but then it's this really soft, stretchy, just black knee length. So when I looked at it, I knew I was gonna get it for myself. And then when I looked a little closer, I saw that it was new with tag. The price isn't on here, but it is new with tag. Dresses are $9.99 there. So I'm definitely picky about what I get. I probably would not have bought this to resell, but if I have to resell, I can probably still make some decent money on it, but $10, hoping that looks okay on me because I really wanna keep it. There were two Eileen Fisher jackets. Probably should have bought them both, but I passed on the other one. Jackets are $10. The other one just felt a little bit like a dated style. It was, it was a utility jacket. It wasn't bad. This was just right next to it, and I thought this was beautiful. Um, so this has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's an extra small. It has this very subtle A-line. It's a cotton nylon spandex blend, and it's really nice. So I don't think I've ever sold an Eileen Fisher coat like this, but I loved the color. I looked closely because I was concerned that maybe it had a belt that it was missing, but it does not have a belt. It's, it's really nice. I love it. So this, I have no idea. Eileen Fisher is all over the map. Some pieces sell for extremely good money and sometimes they don't, but I'm a fan of Eileen Fisher. Let me know in the comments if that's a brand that you pass on or pick up. Um, I probably pick it up about 60 or 70% of the time. If it's not too dated, I will grab it. I prefer it to be in larger sizes, but I really liked this coat and I've never sold one of their jackets. So I do want to give it a try and see how it does. I'll post comps here for you. Okay, this was another brand that is new to me. Uh, I saw it and I said, that's kind of a cool tag. Mollusk is the name of the brand, made in California. This is just a really lightweight denim. It's very, it's like denim's even a stretch. It's like a cotton and super lightweight. It has, you know, the little drawstring rope here and the brown buttons. Just a very minimalist, nice style. And some of the comps on this brand were really good. My impression was that if people knew what they had, they priced it accordingly and the comps were high and then it just looked like some people priced it low and it just sold low. So I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm hoping this does okay hoping for about $50 or more for this mollusk jacket. It's really cute. I've never found this brand before. Let me know if you've ever seen that brand. That's what I love about being close to Boston. You just never know what you're gonna find. This was one of the last things I found. I forgot about this. As I was on my way out, I did one more loop because I had picked up a John Black Funko Pop figurine and I was in line to check out and then I grabbed that and I started to look at comps in store and there were people in back of me, so I hopped out of the line and it turned out that the particular Funko Pop that I saw wasn't worth a lot of money, but there were a couple of, did I say John Black? My words today, John Snow from Game of Thrones. There were some Funko Pops that were selling upwards of $200. So when I first looked, I was like, oh my gosh, but there were different versions of Jon Snow and the particular version that I got was not a big one. So I left the line to go return it. And then as I was doing my final round, I found these two pieces that I'm gonna show you. This is Rana Gill, which is also sold at Anthropology. but look at this collar. This looks like a larger size. It's a medium. It looks like it runs big. Check out the sequins collar on this. It is just beautiful. I paid the same price for this as the Sigrid Olsen, which is probably $7.50. And it's just beautiful. I love selling Rana Gill. I think I've only sold dresses from her. Look at this. There's actually like these little spikes on this. 
I don't know if you can see them. I thought this blouse was incredible. And it's it's new without tag, technically, because it still has that. Yeah, there's no, no signs of wear whatsoever. I'm really excited to check out the comps on that. This is a cabbie jacket that I picked up. Um, it's stretchy. I've been loving like stretchy blazers lately and I loved the color of this. It was very spring. Most cabby pieces have the style number right on the tag so it's very easy to look up comps and the comps on this blazer were really good and blazers were $7.49 and this was a size 16 so I was like oh yay that's fantastic. I thought it was so cute. So hoping for about $40 to $50 on this as well. I think that's it for regular price stuff. Yes, the rest of the items that I'm going to share with you are from the $1.99 rack. Tina just got here, I'll be right back. So it's been a little while, Tina arrived and we had some puppy time and we shipped out some of our items, got caught up and she's already starting to photograph these items. So hopefully by the time this video goes live, most of this stuff will be listed. I'm filming, I think enough in advance that by the time it goes live, you'll see everything. Okay, next up is this pile from my second store where everything was $1.99. So I'm gonna show you some of the stuff and I did have time to run a couple comps here so I can share them with you. This is a Scotch and Soda sweatshirt. There were three pieces in this section that were the brand Scotch and Soda. It's not like a huge money maker, but I think they're cute pieces and these are sweatshirts. This particular one, I found a sold comp on eBay for $47 and it was pretty recent. So I was excited about that. I'll probably list this around $50 or $55. It is a size small. It's the 18, 15 meters high. I don't know if that's like a special line within the brand and this is all embroidered on the back. So it's really cute. So that was there. This one, I only found one comp. Again, I looked really quickly, but it was only $16. So we'll go with that as our comp for this. Um, this is Le Amis Day Scotch and Soda sweatshirt. I believe this is also a small, the quality of their stuff is really nice. I'm not sure if those are men's or women's. My son likes Scotch and Soda stuff. This shirt looks like it's probably women's. This is a Scotch and Soda t-shirt. It is a size 16, so this is youth actually. This is just a long sleeve tee. I didn't find comps on this, but I don't imagine they'll be much higher than like 16 to $18. Uh, but for $1.99, that's Ben's prices for me. So I went ahead and grabbed them. This is a Jules top. This is a brand that is pretty popular in the horse riding community. This is a size 22, and I was really excited to find this nice top in a larger size. It's really soft. This brand has a ton of tops that look like this. If you just type in striped with floral, you'll get all sorts of combinations. So I went with one that was pretty similar and I think the comp was $25. So I'll probably list it at $28 or $29 and hope to get around that $25 mark. Again, I love that it was plus size. I was excited about this. I also found a stock photo for this. It's just Zara. But for for $1.99, I thought it was really pretty. It's a beautiful summer dress. This is so 90s. When I found it, that was actually in the description because it is very much a 90s style. It's like this light lavender, has these cute little straps that you can you know, double knot like this person has and just let them hang or you can tie them in a bow. It is an extra small. It's a satiny material, very soft, has a little bit of give to it. And then these like little cream colored flowers. Very, very pretty. Um, the comp that I saw on this was just $18. So that's what we'll go with unless I see another one. But I'm probably gonna list this for $25 and see what we get. And I don't, oh! This is what I was very excited about. This is a brand that I recently discovered and I am on the lookout for it now all the time. People in the comments have shared with me before that they too love this brand. It is Viori, V-U-O-R-I. There's the tag. So it's super subtle. I think that it's not super well known. Now I think all of the thrift stores, if they see Lululemon, there's a good chance they're gonna mark it up if that's something they typically do with premium brands. Viori, I don't think is that mainstream yet. I think within the reseller community, a lot of people know of it, but these are the camo leggings. They do have a pocket, which is great. Oh, two pockets, one on each side. I'm gonna have to try these on. I was just saying, I just sold a Lululemon camo scuba, scuba hoodie that was my own, and I have the 
camo leggings. I just don't wear camo as much, but I really like these. I really like these and they're very soft. They almost feel like a thicker, slightly more um, compression style align pant. Because I never wear the aligns from Lululemon because they just don't hold me in at all. I need a little, a little suck me in, you know? But they'd be great for me to wear like lounging around the house, but I like a little more and these give a little more. But they're so nice, so comfortable. And I saw a sold comp for these for $45 and they were a medium. I'll probably list these at $55 to $60. I'm hoping to get around that $50 mark. $1.99. I was pumped about these. That was what I was most excited about in that little $1.99 pile. I think that wraps everything up from this little haul. I had so much fun um, just being in my zone. It was just one of those days I didn't have a huge time constraint. It was nice outside. It was actually pretty warm outside. My daughter went to the beach. I think a lot of people weren't thinking about the thrift store. So it was quiet when I was out, relatively, and I found some great things. So once again, I spent... I spent about $130, not what I said initially, and I got some pretty great things. So let's add up some of the comps and I'll come back and I will share what I think I can get for this haul. Let me know what your favorite thing is that you picked up this week. I love to hear about all the things you're finding out at the thrift in the comments. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I would love for you to join my community. Hit the subscribe button. I put out videos twice a week and I'd love to have you here. Let me go figure out what I think I'm gonna make in this haul for a $130 investment. Hello, it has been a couple days. I am back. Let me just adjust this. I'm editing. I have Mr. Lumpy here because I figured if I did a video and he wasn't in it, I would hear about it. He has been so snuggly today. It's been so crazy with the kids home that I think today, because they're out working, doing their thing, he has been much more relaxed although now he's piping up for the screen. In total, I had 20 items. I wrote down what my estimate was for all of them. And on some of these, I even, I adjusted it a little bit. So the OnCloud sneakers, I figured about $65 was a safe bet. The Lulu bra actually did sell and it sold for approximately $35. It sold in a pretty large bundle for $160. The Ann Klein robe, even though the comp that I showed was $34, I put $30, I'm not selling that. But since we're running comps, I figured I would do that. He's now eating the notebook. The Madewell sweater, $30. Those comps were a little bit lower than I had hoped. The Aritzia sweatshirt that I was wearing, holy cow, that comp that I found was $70. But I put here in my notes $50 because there were other Aritzia sweatshirts, not mine specifically, that were much lower than $70. I don't know if it's just because they had the stock photo. But anyways, I put $50. Same with the Free People denim shorts. The comp I showed was 39. I put 35 in my comps because some of the comps I saw were much lower. And you know with Poshmark, if it sells in a bundle, you never know what the actual price is. So I always take Poshmark comps with a little bit of a grain of salt. Oh, the Eileen jacket I dropped by $10 because Eileen's so inconsistent. The comp I showed was 60, I'm saying 50, but you get the idea. So in total for 20 items, I think a very probable selling point will be $761. That's what I got for these 20 items, making my average selling price approximately $38.05. I didn't do the math on my cost of goods, but I spent about 130 and I got 20 items. But I thought this would be really helpful to actually look at real comps for every single item that I thrifted. Sometimes comps are incredible and they give us a real indication of where our things will sell for. And sometimes I look at comps and I price in a different direction and I do okay. Are you feeling nosy? We'll bring him back up again. <laughs> you are so funny. This is like really bad um, lighting right here. And yesterday I was so sick. I had like a 24 hour stomach bug and I was totally out of commission. So I'm really taking it easy today. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll be back soon with another one and my crazy dog will probably be in it. <laughs> Bye everybody.